Hey everyone. I'm Christy. I'm here with Stuart. He's doing all the technical stuff and I'm just here. Um, I'm a member of Morning Star Church. Many of you know me um, in various ways, but what you might not know is that before COVID-19 changed everything, I was an avid runner, walker, jogger, whatever you call it. And uh, I enjoyed competing in races of all distances. Uh, I started with 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, and graduated up to um, my last race, which was a marathon. And it was on November in November of 19, and it was the Dia de los Muertos Marathon. Uh, my plan back then, before COVID, was to uh, run a half a marathon per month. And I was training and ready to go. Well, like everything else, that didn't happen. And without my goal of participating in these races, my training plan went right out the window. And in fact, uh, nearly every activity that I pre previously enjoyed uh, changed. Uh, like many of you that are my age and older, um, I haven't seen my kids, I haven't seen my grandkids in almost a year, and I haven't run in almost a year. Um, as 2020 came and went, turned into 2021, uh, more changes came for me, and some of them just really left me breathless. Um, I was barely putting one foot in front of the other. I wasn't even thinking about running. And I really wasn't thinking about much else other than coming to work and going home and jumping into bed. And I realized that not only was life changing around me, but I had changed. Uh, those changes had changed me. And I was starting to let fear take over. Uh, and I, I needed help. And right about that time, a good friend of mine in San Diego sent me a wonderful devotional book um, that really brought me face to face with God, uh, with my faith, uh, and with everything that I had stopped doing, um, re really just brought it to a head. Uh, but what does that have to do with stewardship? That has to do with what happened to me, but... Um, but this has, it really has everything to do with stewardship. In hindsight, my faith, my running, my giving, were all a big part of me. And I had let fear completely take over every aspect. And I, what I needed to do was to trust God, to trust God with every aspect of my life and start, uh, start living again, stop living in fear. Um, but, you know, just like running, you have to have a plan. And getting back to the plan, uh, your life's plan, your running plan, your giving plan, um, that all takes focus. So here's how I see the similarities of, of getting back to my running plan with getting back to my giving plan. Uh, I have five points. Uh, running's easy. And it's easy to put off until tomorrow. And, you know, running doesn't happen by accident. Um, running a marathon is grueling work. And if you don't have a plan that is realistic for you, um, it's not going to work. So um, today, I do what I can. I want to run a marathon again. And I do what I can. Even if that means just walking around the block or, or maybe running around the block. And the same is true with giving. You have to start intentionally and you have to start today. But it doesn't have to be a whole lot. It can be like running around the block. It can be just a little bit. Um, running takes time. And the time you spend running is time that you don't have for something else. And this Similarly, your gift, whether it's your, your giving, whether it's your time or your money, um, that money is not, or your time is not available for something else. And um, you have to make that choice. Running's not always easy. Some people make it look easy. And it, it, for me, it's not. I'm not that person that makes it look easy. But I am that person that wants to run again. And 
So I just put one foot in front of the other and I enjoy running. Giving is the same thing. It's, it's not always easy. And you decide what you want to give. And sometimes that's not easy either. Um, running, when, you, when you're running, you keep your goal in mind. You set a goal and you keep it in mind. Believe me, there are plenty of days I just want to sleep in. Um, or I just, in the evening, I just want to watch TV and forget about everything else. But, you know, there's never an unending stream of temptations to throw you off track of your goal. And, uh, you know, you just got to get past that. Keep your goal in mind. Set your goal, no matter the size, no matter how small, no matter how large, set your goal and act with that future goal in your mind instead of what feels good right now. Uh, Lastly, what I have to remember is that running is important to me. But it's not the most important thing in my life. Um, And just because I've decided it's important uh, in my life, it doesn't mean it's important in everybody's life. Um, And I realize that my life isn't just this one day or one race or one lost year of change like 2020 for most of us. Life is a long journey, a big, long journey. Um, You know, the hard place I found myself in back three, four weeks ago was the exact place in which God was giving me an opportunity to look, look at what was going on and to look straight to him. Um, n- not look at what I've lost, but look, look to God for, for my help. And so now each day I get up and I start my day walking with God. Uh, that might be just meditating or um, doing yoga, uh, but I spend 15 minutes every morning just relying on God for the rest of my day and how I'm going to, to, to approach it. And I end each day with my slow run right now, my very slow run, <laughs> but it's, it's different now. It's, it's with God by my side. He's there every minute of the day with me. And the same thing is true with my giving. You know, last year um, it it ended and my running ended and a lot of the wonderful things in my life stopped, but it was because of me. So now with my giving, with my stewardship, I've started back slowly. Um, It may be next year by the time I get back to where I was, um, but I'm hoping that next year my giving will be very similar to my running and that I will be running and a marathon and giving like a marathon. Thanks for listening to me. Um, I hope this helped you in some way. Uh, we're all there together and, and that's, that's it. Bye for now.